Kristen and it is time for some monthly favorites. So this is a bonus Sunday video, I believe, for you. <laughs> um, I kind of had a lot of, of things to do in a short period of time. I didn't want to wait too much longer to put this video up. So I hope that you don't mind that I have a bonus Sunday video two weeks in a row. Having said all of that, let's go ahead and get into my October favorites. Firstly, I want to talk about some brushes that I have been really enjoying. So First off, this is a brush I've had in my collection for a very long time, and I've just been playing around for the past few months. So this has been a, I've been using it for the past few months, really liking it, so now I, it's a full-fledged favorite at this point. So this is the Chanel blush brush, so it's the number four, and it's this, you can see how long it is. It's one of the like shorter brushes in my collection. Normally, normally I prefer a little bit longer handled brush. Whew. Um, but at any rate, what I really enjoyed with this is I've just kind of been playing around with placement of my blush and this works really well for what I've been doing lately. I'm going to look in the mirror and you should be able to see the time. So I've kind of been placing it more here and then blending it out versus kind of here. And I've really, I've really, this brush is just perfect for that. It's not super dense. It has definitely some give to it. Really have enjoyed this, this brush. It's, it's, it's a pricey brush. I'm not, I'm not going to lie as they say. Um, but you can get it, um, at, I think like Nordstrom, well, any place to carry Chanel. Not the point. I'm not sure why I'm telling you where you can get it. I'll link it below if you're interested, but really like it. I've had it, like I said, a very long time. I've washed it a bunch of times and it has lasted very well. It still functions like new for me. Next brush is one that I actually, I did a while back, and I'll link it below if you want to see it. I did a video on my Sephora Pro brushes that I have in my collection. And this one was one that I was like, yeah, it's nice, but it's not a must-have. And I'm still not saying it's a must-have because I try not to do that. But it is a really nice brush for a different purpose than what... Um, I initially used it for. So in working in my Four Looks One Palette videos that I'm doing it, I kind of, it really forces me to work within one palette, obviously. And sometimes I just need to find a different brush to make something work. So this is the number 27. It's called the um, Pro Blending Brush. So it's very similar to a MAC 217, but there is more give to it, like in size and shape, but there's more give to it. There's a little more denseness to the 217. And so I don't like it for the use that I like my 217 for, but what I have decided I really like it for is when you're putting a lid color on and you really want to just kind of blend out that with with a transition color of some sort, a mid-tone color of some sort, this just seems to work really well for blending that line and diffusing that line. So I just wanted to give this a mention because it was in that video, it was one that I was like, eh, but I've really started to enjoy it, so... Just thought I'd share. And then the last one I have is this is a Beauty Junkie brush. And this brush was sent to me. Doesn't affect my opinion, as you know. This is the Mini Angled brush. And so this comes in a kit of five of these type of brushes I just showed in a haul last Sunday. And what I have liked this for, and I mentioned it in that video as well, is using it for my Painterly Paint Pot, which goes over the top of my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And you know, having said that, I think I'm on a little bit of a mission. And I may be, I have some friends... Um, that have contacts with like labs and that sort of thing, <laughs> I may work on my own eye base. I may come out with a cosmetic line of one, an eye base. One that not only holds my eyeshadows on and my oily lids so that they don't crease, but also has kind of that coloring of, of painterly in it. I don't know. I'm just saying that it's something that's missing in the market, in my opinion, and I feel like it's a void I need to fill. Anyway. There you go, Kristen's hopes and dreams, a cosmetic line of one. Anyway, I really like this brush. I will link below. I do still have codes that are good through the end of the year that can get you some money off of a set of brushes, a single brush, whatever your little heart desires. So let's move on to some eyeshadow. This is a palette that I just did a four looks, one palette video on not that long ago. I'll link that below in case you missed it. It's the Sleek Storm palette. I had done a giveaway on this because this is the one I purchased myself and they had sent me one, but I really like this palette. There are some really nice shades in here. Let's just swatch a couple that I really was digging. So there's a couple, that's just running my finger in those very quickly. Look at that. I just, re that'd be nice pretty eyelid right there. Really, really, oh, I lost my towel. Very towel retrieved. Real, just very, very, very nice. 
good, just good, good blendability. I, I was, I was really happy with it. So I just wanted to give it another mention. And then actually a, an eye look, and I, I filmed so much in advance this month. So you guys didn't get to see some of my favorites on my eyes as much. And this is the eye look that I'm wearing today. I had gone in and I'm really trying to play in my stash a little bit, especially with some of my single eyeshadows and that so sort of thing. So I went in and I pulled out some of my singles. I have them all open here. So these are four singles from Catrice that I have been wearing as an eye look regularly this month so all over the lid generally this is how i've been doing it. i've been using wearing the one in shade of gray which looks like this let's watch all these on my hand for you um right there now these are not available to my knowledge these sort of eyeshadows are not available at ulta yet but i'm really hoping that they that they arrive this is the one in my first copperware party so pretty. So I've been putting the gray all over my all over my lid. I've been wearing my first copperware party, which looks like that, in the crease on a fluffy brush, all over my eye and for like before I put anything down, all over my eye and for my brow bone is this one in in Bring Me Frosted Cake, but it's not very frosted. And then this one is the one I've been wearing in the crease. It's so pretty. It's a matte shade in Heidi Plum. Get it. <laughs> which looks like that. And let's just put that right here, right there. And so that is the look I've worn so much this month with a, the liner, the plum, I think it's called plum liner from Pixie on the top of my eyelashes and upper waterline. That's what I'm wearing right today. Love it. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know what it is about this eye look, but it just seems to work and I really like it. One other eyeshadow that I wanted to mention that just screams fall to me is Camp Cosmetics and I've worn this, I had this on in a video too, and this is the shade in Captivate. This is a matte shade. This just blends so well. It's so pretty. I just... <laughs> Blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes. I mean, I just see it's working so well. It's right there. Stunning, absolutely stunning. This works really well with golds, pairs well with taupe. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's been a while since I've had an eyeliner in my favorites, um, but this really stood out to me. This was sent in that Sleek Beauty, beauty Blogger box thing that, that they're sending every once in a while now. I don't even know how often. Um, but I'll tell you what, this is not as creamy as the Marc Jacobs, but man, does it stay like the Marc Jacobs. So this is the Ooh La La Liner. It's a waterproof, smudge proof in Noir. The one that I got in the blue color is also gorgeous, but, um, well, it's gorgeous. This is black. It's not gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, really, it's black, but that stays as well as what I'm saying. It's in a gorgeous color, but this black is the one I want to talk about. It's not the blackest of black. It's not quite as black as blacker, but good gravy. It stays put. It does not transfer to my lower waterline when I wear it up, you know, on my upper waterline. Doesn't transfer at all. Stays put, stays put on my upper waterline, up, or my upper lash line. Really, really a nice pencil. I'm, I'm very, very impressed with that. I want to make sure that I gave that a mention because I think in that Four Looks One palette, I mentioned how, how nice it was and I wanted to give it another mention here. So truly the most, most of the month I've been wearing the same blush. I've just been doing very something simple that lasts, that works, that looks good with anything. And so I, I've just been wearing my blush and Delightful from my Cam Cosmetics collab. But um, the other blush that I've kind of rediscovered toward the end of the month when I was filming those blush stashes um, the drugstore ones is NYX blush in pinch. This is just so gorgeous. This is what I'm wearing today. I don't know that I would necessarily wear it with this lip <laughs> normally, but it looks okay. And I wanted you guys to be able to see it on my cheeks. It's just, I just love it. Do you see the little bit of sheen that is there, um, is from this blush and it, it's, you know, it's not the longest lasting power of life, but it's just really, really pretty. And look, and it is right there. Again, that's NYX blush in pinched. Really, really gorgeous. And then the other one, let me just give you a swatch of that. You can, I have quite the little dip going in here. Um, that is the blush in Delightful. And there are a few of these left, I think. Not not very many. The, the collab trios, I mean. So, gorgeous, gorgeous, both of those. Okay, very lastly is um, a, a lip product. I've been wearing this one quite a bit again lately. And I just talked about this in my fall favorites, I think. This is the pencil from Bite Beauty in Glace. This is just perfect, particularly in fall. I love it. I love it by itself. I love it with glosses over it. I, it's just, hmm. <laughs> it's perfection, really. And those don't, those matte pencils don't dry out my lips like so many other mattes do. So wanted to, to give that a quick mention. And that really is it for my makeup favorites this month. I didn't have, I didn't have as many as I normally do for some reason. 
I'm looking at my list on here in case you're wondering what I'm looking at. Uh, I have a couple of TV mentions that I want to talk about. First, The Walking Dead. I mean, that is obvious. I think this is like an epic season so far. What are we, three episodes in? Two episodes? I, I don't know. At this point, by the time you see by the time you see this, there's another episode. But I'm filming this on Halloween, actually. So, um, so good. I think it's the best season that they've had yet. Really, really good. And then the other one show I want to mention is a new one. You guys know how I feel about Morris Chestnut. I'm just saying. So I've been enjoying his show Rosewood. I, I actually had to watch. There was something else that was DVRing at the same time, and we can only DVR two things at the same time. Anyway, so I had to watch it on demand. But whew. He's worth the commercials, I'm just saying. It's, and I get a kick out of the show, I don't know. Maybe it's just him. And I'm gonna take a page out of Elle is for Living's book, and she does um, a whole, her favorites are a few makeup things, a few appreciation things, and, and she does, she's, she has a great, has a great way of doing her favorites. So I'm gonna take a book out of that, or take a page out of her book, and I will link her below if you aren't familiar with her. And um, kind of talk about some a couple of things that I'm really trying to appreciate this year. For those of you that watch my vlog channel, you know that I'm on a little bit of a break from vlogging because life is just crazy and this is my favorite time of year. So I just, I really have taken time to appreciate the colors, um, just fall in Wisconsin in general. Um, doesn't hurt that the Packers at this point as I'm watching this are 6-0. and um, We're playing Denver tonight and they are also 6-0 and or they might be 7-0. We had our bye week last week. Anyway, the point is, I really love fall. I love fall. I love football. I love, I love it. Um, and then I, I want, and I will, I will get a vlog up hopefully um, very soon to show you guys. I've compl I can, we completely redid our living room. Most of you know we put a new um, carpeting throughout the whole house, and somehow that led to redoing my entire living room. I, I don't really know. I'm just really, I love being in my living room now. So I'm truly trying to appreciate that. That probably sounds crazy, but I'm just saying. I love being in my living room. So having said all of that, I think that that is everything. And I hope that you guys have had a great October and ha are having a good start to your November. This year just, wow, has flown by for me. Absolutely flown by. I cannot believe that, well, it's just flown by. <laughs> so, all right, I think I have told you everything that's on my face with the exception of my lip combo. This is the lip combo that I showed you in, um, I'm looking for my lip liner, in, um, one of the lip combos in my haul last week. And this is Max Lip Liner in Night Moth. I'll just give you a little swatch here on my hand, which looks like that. And then over the top of that, I have Mac Fru, which I have, I need to wipe off because it's got Night Moth all over it, but it looks like this. And you would be like, what? So that's, that's that right there. And this lip combo is that liner with this lipstick over the top. And I think you know everything else. So thank you guys so much for watching. I also appreciate you more than you can imagine. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.